up, everybody? It's your girl, Shanika Taylor, on the mic, and it is going down right here at the press screening for So So Deaths, So So Summer 17 tour, presented by award-winning producer JD himself. And let me tell you, these kids are hungry. They are aggressive, and they're ready to take on this industry. Tickets go on sale March 24th, so make sure you go out and get them. Now let's get this show started like you know we supposed to. Hey. What up, y'all? It's Jermaine Dupree, and I'm mad talking. Yeah. We mad talking. Yeah. No cards if the man come with me. Folks, I done started up a whole epidemic. Look, you know what I'm talking about. Every since I hooked up with the homie damn South. TV show, magazine covers. What's up, y'all? This is Mad Talking. I am here with Little Key all the way from B More. Baltimore is definitely in the building. So tell me, what makes you distinctive? Um, your music, who you are, from everyone else. Well, I think what makes me different is basically my sound. I come real aggressive, you know, and a lot of others on the show didn't come like that, you know. I'm lyrical at the same time. That just make sure you understand what I'm saying. I got a, many different flows that I switch it up with, so I can rap fast, rap slow, but you still understand what I'm saying. You know? So since you got many different rap flows, let me hear some bars. You want to hear some bars? I want to hear bars. I stay ten toes down, making sure my people eat. Got to get it on my own, so I stay up out them streets. Stay playing cool and tell you to stay on your grind. But low key, they not for you. They don't want to see you shine, see? I can't let the fake love really get to me. Don't accept me for who I am. You ain't really meant for me. My people said don't judge a book by its cover, but this world is cold. Sons ain't coming home to their mama's arms. Oh, 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 see? See what he said? See, when he said he was aggressive, he wasn't playing. Like, this guy's going in. That's what's up. So you, so you, I see you're real hungry in this industry, and so what are some of the challenges that, that you think you're going to have to face, um, being that you are so young and you're aggressive, and you're coming with a, basically a whole different sound than that southern hip-hop sound that we're hearing um, in our rap industry today? I feel as though my main challenge will be being so young because you got so many people doing it at my age, younger and yes. older. And you know, I feel as though music doesn't have no age to it, so it's no right. limits. Everybody can make it to the same the same level, no matter the age. So you feel right. saying? I still got to go as hard as a 12 year old will go, yes, as hard as a 35 year old will go. So no matter the age, I just feel as though my age reps me, so I got to make sure I do what I got to do. That's what's up. And you are repping it well, so make sure you guys check out for Lil Keep from Baltimore because he's bringing all the aggression. And he got bars. And he did that on the mic. He did that on the mic. And I got bars, man. But look, if y'all want to check me out everywhere, it's B More Lil Key. B M O R E L I L K E Y on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Hey. Everywhere. It's everywhere. everywhere. B More Lil Key. Everywhere. What's up, everybody? Guess what? We got season two winner Monty's in the building from Cali. Now, listen, I was going to ask you who your inspiration is, but you're giving me Snoop Dogg with these great. Who is your inspiration? Hey, you guessed it right on the dot, Snoop, man. Snoop, I always looked up to him since I was six years old. Okay, all right. So tell me, what are what are your challenges so far? You know, you have one season two. You're out here. You you got your music going. So tell me, what's different between before? Just a whole lot of uh, people knowing me. You know, just like I can't go out to eat without somebody asking for a picture. Okay. Or you know, I can't go out with somebody asking for a picture. I mean, it's all good. Right. But you know, that's what changed. And you know, that's a lot right. of challenges that go on in my life right now. So. All right. And do you find it hard to get yourself out there? Are the people receptive to your music? Like, how's it going with that? Yeah, people are really receptive. Like, it's not, it's not that hard for people to feel me because, you know, I right. just make that type of music that, you know, right. you can have fun too, you know, and people love to have fun, so. All right, so this tour, this tour is a big deal. So let me let me know what do you got coming up for this tour? Like, how do you how are you gonna make sure that you're setting that stage presence and making sure the people are feeling you? Come with the fire and music. You already know what the people love. I gotta give it to them. And you know, that's easy right there, so right. I got it. All right. All right, and right now, who is the best rapper out right now? Me. Mine. Oh. You already know. Check it. Remember the name. Got two singles out. You thought, look at me, now look at you. Go get on iTunes, Spotify, Google Music, or whatever you want. You already know. Check it out. You got some bars for the people? You already know. You want to spin? Yo, I'm slashing these records, boy, I'm a killer I'm scaring these rappers, Michael Jackson Thriller Ain't nobody really eat you up for dinner Ain't nobody similar, boy, you better get them Drop a dollar if you feel them About to make a liberal homicide You wanna bribe, about to kill him if you ain't a friend of mine It's my time to shine, cause I am the most underrated I let them know that I can never be faded Let you in and make it the better, that's one of the greats I got them all shaking, keep it behind and never be fake I cop up a chair and shake it and look like Sanaa so like it Tell me why all that hair on you Cause the money man really, I ain't got no clue Look what they saying, I don't care what they comment to They're making them, they saying that's long 
TikTok segment. I'm like, these kids are serious and they're on fire. Wait a minute. You sounded like Twister on the low. See, that is what I'm talking about. Talented. Talented, young. This is Monty in the building. Tell the people where they can follow you at. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, the real money underscore. All of this the same. The real money underscore. Facebook, the real money one. SoundCloud, the real money. You already know. Check it. All right. What well, mad talking? You already heard it from him best. Let's go. The Brat. How you feeling? Listen, I'll be listening to you every morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel great. I'm just happy to be a part right. of this thing. Right. All right. Now, with you paving the way for so many female MCs, and now you have female MCs coming up. I mean, you were once in their shoes. How does that feel? That feels amazing that I get to mentor some of these ladies and teach them the game. Since I got the blueprint, I really don't mind showing them what to do, especially right. since they in the so-so deaf camp. They family. Right, right, right. And now with this tour, you know, it's their first tour. You know, what are your expectations? You know, I I, I know you guys are excited. And listen, I heard a couple of them spit, and it seems like their sound is it's sounding old school to me. Like they really can spit. So how do you even, I know you're proud. Yeah, I'm very proud. We like for them to be more lyrical than not over yeah, here. Okay. So, so deaf. You know what I'm okay. saying? So, I'm just, like I said, I'm happy to be a part of right. it, and I'm very proud. And anything right. they need Brett for, I'm going to be there. Big sis. All right, that's what's up. And what do you think is so distinctive about So, So Deaf? Come on, man. So, So Deaf love the kids. <laughs> Criss Cross was the first group to sell over Hello. 50 million records. You know what I'm saying? And JD created them. Right. JD came out with me. JD he came out with Bow. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, he's got the formula right. to, to make the kids pop. Yes. So, that's what he's doing. He's using his right. gift, and I'm very proud of right. him. Well, we're proud of both of you guys. Make sure you guys, So, So Summer 17 Tour yeah. is here. Yeah. Make sure you guys come get out. Get it. Get them now. You are. What up, Mad Talker? We got another female MC in the building. Atlanta, where you at? Super Peach, how you feeling? Yo, what's up? This your girl, Super Peach. Y'all already know, so so summer 17, man. Hey. Y'all better turn up. Isn't she so cute? You see that grill? Listen, I need to get on your level. I need to get a grill. All right, so tell me, what makes you distinctive? You know, females in this industry, you know, we're not as dominant as the males are. Right, right. So what, what's What makes me stand out is being unique. Ain't no other Super Peach. You'll never see no yes. other Super Peach. And I wear a cape, you know. Stands for skills and greatness, but you already know I'm unique. Right, Ain't no right. other, you can't find no other kid like me. All right, so tell me, how important do you think youth is in the hip hop culture? I think youth is very important to the, for the hip hop for the hip hop world. It's because you know the youth is what make like the fans and a lot of right. stuff. Yeah, right. So right, I think right. it's very important, like for real. And what is distinctive about your style? What's the thing about my style is you will never know how I'm coming because okay. you don't know what I'm what I got going on. Very right. different. I like stuff out the box. Right. I don't care what I got on. Whatever right. I put on, gonna make it gonna make it happy for real. Aww. Don't you love her energy? I love it. So come on now, do you got some bars for us today? Yes, I got she got bars, bars y'all. You gas up, but I take off. Swear, stupid, no special ed. I go super him in my barbecue, and that's part of hard, and that's part of raw. Ice cream in my sneakers, get stepped down my shoe game. Yeah, I might be smarter, you, but I talk big as I do things, man. Y'all already know what it is. Straight coming from the yes. yeah. Wait a minute, you sound like you from New York or something. Like, I don't even hear Atlanta. Like, I'm from Jersey, so I hear that northern sound. All right, that's what's up. All right. You just got, you got that sound. All right, so tell me, on this tour, what are you about to do? Like, how are you going to make sure that people are feeling you? It's your first tour. Are you excited? Yes, this is my first tour. But when I get on the, when I get on the tour, I'm going to shut it down. Like, yes, regardless. Like, we finna, we finna turn this thing out. Facts. Yes. Yes. All right, tell the people where they can follow you at. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore Super Peach, S-U-P-A-P-A-C-H. And y'all already know how I'm coming. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, <laughs> Super Peach. I got over 45 million views, man. I'm wow. doing it big. Chill. Listen, y'all, I thought I was aggressive. These kids are not playing, so make sure you go ahead and follow Super Peach ATL. We're in the building. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Mulatto, the first season winner of Rap Game. How you feeling? I'm great. We got this So So Summer 17 yes. tour. I'm feeling lit, extra lit. Okay, so tell me about your preparation for that tour. What have you been doing? Girl, I got to go shopping. Uh, I got to hit the gym real hard because some abs need to be, okay. you know, popping on stage. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And, like, you know, you have been blowing up ever since, you know, been on Rap Game. I heard you talking about, you know, your million followers, your hustle. I know you got a store out here, an ATL, a retail store. So tell me, what is, how was it different from before um, that you were in the game? Oh, my goodness. Like like you said, um, I'm opening businesses now. Um, entrepreneurship opened the yes. door to entrepreneurship. Um, opened the door to bigger opportunities. I had my first show out of the country. This wow. will be my first wow. tour. 
um, I went from 30,000 followers before the show, now I'm about to hit a million. So, that wow, means it speaks for itself. Good. Yes, yes. And, you know, what do you think is distinctive about your style? Um, I feel like I'm original. Uh, I, I got a, people. I bring a different uh, plate to the table. Right. People they look at me and they get something different than what they expect. So. Right. <laughs> All right. And tell me. And tell me. What is it that um that you think um is going to be that driving force to push you as a female MC in the game? You know, we don't have a lot of female MCs in the game. But, you know, the ones we do, they always are that driving force. So what is it about you that's going to be that driving force? God, I mean, I pray every night. I, I pray um, that he humbles me, keeps me humble throughout this whole process. And then my parents, um, everything behind me is my family. My right. family is my security guard, my, my bank account, right. my financial, everything. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Family right. and God. All right, girl. And do you have some bars for us today? I do, but I don't do freestyles no more. You know what I'm what? saying? Level up. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up, Mad Talker? We are in the building right now with award-winning producer, recording artist, JD. Welcome to Atlanta where the players play. How you doing? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. What's happening? What's going on? This is a big day. I heard your minty spit. I, I was hearing some of them. It's funny because you see that hip-hop is going back a little bit. They're not mumbling. To me, you know, hip-hop has evolved, but with their sound, they remind me of back in the day. How do you feel about that? I mean, I love it. I love that these, you know, the young kids really want to be rappers. I mean, right. that's one of the things that the rap game has really, really knocked into and, you know, got into that these kids really, you know, listen, these kids want to rap. Like, right. you know what I mean? They really want to be rappers and right. they really want they really want people to respect them for being right. good rappers. So, that's about the talent. I love I right. love it, basically. Yeah. And that's them. That's, you know, right. that's how Lil' Key came to the show. I right. didn't, you know, I didn't do that. All right. And now you've been doing tours for a while, but now this is your first tour with a school bus, basically, with all these little mentees. So, tell me, like, what are your challenges so far? What are, what are you um, looking forward to? What are the potentials? I mean, the only challenge that, that that's out there is the fact that, like I said, the, the, the mainstream press and that mainstream, all of that, they don't really respect kids as artists you know right. what i mean and they they look at it they look down on it as like right. it's not really something that's real and what i'm trying to do is make people understand it's real it's, it's way real. real you know it's what i mean real. and and at the same time um one of the things like i said is i i i, I saw this being something i should do when i went to the circus right and they was playing music that wasn't appropriate right and one of the things i take from the movie get out is that when wow. you watch that movie you learn that we see stuff that we know is not right, but yeah. we don't say or do nothing about it, right? Okay. That's what I'm doing right now. I saw something that wasn't work, that wasn't right, and I decided okay. to do something about it. That's what's up. Yo, yo, what up? It's your girl, Brad, and I'm always mad talking, you dig? So, so deaf, summer 17, you see it. 